Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk to you about how to set up files on your laptop so that you can move files from home to school to your desktop at school and then also back to your laptop and then back to home again. Uh, that way you have access to everything uh, at your fingertips when you're working on software such as AutoCAD, Inventor, Revit, uh, Photoshop, InDesign, any of the Adobe suite. Um, unlike Google, these programs do not save to the cloud, and when they do save or you upload to the cloud, it's not an autosave feature. You have to download these programs or download the uh, files and then work with them on your laptop at home or at school uh, or uh, utilize a TechEd server uh, or Google Drive to get them to the desktop, the uh, actual tower uh, system in the labs at the uh, school. So we're going to talk to you about how to do this and how uh, not to lose your work and always have it backed up so if something goes wrong we can access your files. All right, here we go. Okay, so if we're taking a look here, this is the uh, desktop of my laptop uh, computer and first we'll talk about uh, that first and then we'll talk about the, the desktop systems, uh, the tower systems uh, in the labs at the school. So uh, first what we'll do is we need to create folders on the uh, desktop here of the laptop. To do this I'm going to go ahead and right click and come on down to the new button. I'm going to slide over and then go up to the word folder. Left click on folder and I'm just going to rename the folder. Okay. So there's a CAD folder if you're taking CAD. If you have multiple courses on the Tech Ed wing then you can just go ahead and do the same thing again. New folder and then go ahead and rename that folder. So let's just say that uh, you're in a CAD class. We're working with AutoCAD, running AutoCAD here and we need to save our file. So what we'll do is we go to the big A, we come down here to the Save As button, slide over to the Drawing, and then I'm going to come into the Desktop. So I pull down this little window up here, a little pull down, and then I go to Desktop. In Desktop, I'm going to find that CAD folder. So there's the CAD folder. I'm going to double click on that, and it says right now that the folder is empty. I'm going to go ahead and take the file and place it in here by hitting Save. Now, always remember, that our file structure is going to be the name of the assignment. This name is assignment is getting started. And then, of course, your login or your student name here uh, and separated by a hyphen or a space uh, is fine. And then you go ahead and hit save. Now, that's saving it to the desktop of the laptop. All right. So I'm going to go back out here and take a look at that. Now, this folder actually has like a little file in it. If I were to double click on it, I can see there is the assignment that I just saved. Now, this is physically residing on the laptop that I would carry back and forth to school, to home. And if I get home, I can open my laptop up. I can then go ahead and open that same file. I can work on it as need be. I can then just go ahead and hit the save icon. Not necessarily need to save as, just save. And then it's saved back to this folder, physically into this folder. Now what we're going to be asking is that you actually move these onto the TechEd server. To do that, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and move this folder over. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to right click on my File Explorer icon. I'll come up and then left click on File Explorer. That opens a second File Explorer window. Now, the only reason I'm doing two windows at this time is so I can physically show you the drag and drop technique. In the uh, pull down menu here on the left side of the window, I'm going to slide down until I find the TechEd Share Q drive. Double click or click, depending upon how your mouse is set. Slide down to students. Now you're only going to have a few options. I think you'll have class resources, students, and a few others. You won't have this giant list. But locate students. Then you want to find semester one. S1 is for semester one. S2, obviously semester two. And then this is legacy data from past years. So I'm going to go ahead and open up semester one. Find the teacher's name whose course you're in. So Lacharowitz is CAD. Go ahead and open that up. Uh, could be also party. Um, as we go in here at the computer aid drafting design folder, and then I'm going to see all the students' names. Now, you'll only see your name, um, or you open up your file folder. This is the file folder you'll have access to. So what we'll do is then we'll just take this file, and we'll take and slide it over. And I can just go ahead and make sure it's highlighted. All right, make sure it's highlighting whatever name I want it to go in, and then let it go. Now that it drops it into that file folder. All right. Why? By doing that, it gets it onto the TechEd server. Now, if you're at school and you're working in one of the computer labs using one of the tower computers, one of the large desktop tower computers, what we would need to do is you need to save the file to the TechEd server. So let's go in and take a look at that. If you're working in AutoCAD, 
and let's say that you want to then save as and you want to go to the TechEd server when you're working on a tower computer here in the school so TechEd share queue same thing go to students and then we're gonna go into the S1 go into my name CAD and then we're gonna go into a file and we're gonna say jump into this file and we're gonna then go ahead and see there's that getting started okay and I'm gonna go ahead and just save this as getting started three uh, two so I have a second file here we'll save now this is saved to the TechEd server when working on a tower at school. What we would have to do is then before we leave class if we need to work on this at home so we need to open up our laptops okay open up the laptop we would then pull up these two windows again so you're gonna go ahead and pull up the TechEd share folder okay students S1 find the information all right and then I can come down here and see that there it is it says uh, getting started S. Lecharowitz, uh, 2. I would need to take this file that I was just working on in the lab. I would select it and I would drag that back over here to the CAD folder. Okay. Anything that I'd want to go back and forth, I would need to drag from one to the other. Okay. So that's important. Now that this is on the laptop, uh, then I can go home and I can open it back up, work on it with the software, and then come back and forth with the files. Okay. Okay, another method uh, for saving files and backing things up is to use your Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my Drive account. And what you should have already done is created folders for each one of your classes. But if you haven't done that, I'm going to go ahead to New, Folder, and I'm going to create a CAD folder. Hit Create. And now that I have a CAD folder, I'm going to go into that CAD folder, and I'm going to go to New, and I'm going to go to File Upload, and I'm going to go find my desktop. Now, you can put... Uh, files from uh, the tower computer at school or your laptop up to Google Drive. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to go into that desktop CAD folder and I'm going to then find there's my files. And I'm actually going to go ahead and select uh, the second one because this would be the most updated one and then hit open. What that's going to do is it's going to start the upload. All right. Now, that DWG file you see here, uh, that is a CAD file, that's a drawing file. Uh, these files will not, uh, in order to access them, you'll have to download them to function and work with them. Uh, so really using your drive is far more of a backup um, than somewhere that you're going to work from because you have to download and upload. So as you can see here, um, functioning with uh, a technical software where you have to do save and save as takes a little more time. Uh, but it does allow you to have multiple backups in different places in case anything were to happen to your laptop or anything um, goes wrong where you delete something and you don't want to delete something. All right, we would have a backup that we can access for you. So I would definitely tell you at least daily uh, or I should say daily or at least uh, weekly, you want to move all your files from your laptop up to uh, the TechEd server. And when you're working in the lab and you need to work on something at home, make sure you copy uh, and drag that file from your TechEd server over to the desktop um, file folder so when you get home and open up your laptop you have that file. Alright so hopefully this helps uh, wrap your head around file management. Of course if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask. Alright good luck.